about the life of a journal. A very common and often asked question is how does the library decide which journals to acquire for the collection? Generally, all of the titles that we acquire here at Lister Hill have been requested by a faculty member, a graduate student, or someone in clinical care. Feel free to always recommend a title to us because there's about 25,000 peer-reviewed science, technology, and medicine journals out there. And you can only imagine that we only have a very small subset. There's going to be times when we're not fiscally able to add your title to the collection. So we're going to offer alternatives to you, such as pay-per-view or interlibrary loan. For the titles that we cannot add due to budgetary restrictions, they are added to the wish list and the wish list is reviewed on an annual basis. Lister Hill Library's subscription agent so happens to be in Birmingham, Alabama. We use EBSCO Information Services. We renew journal titles each September and we spend the summer very busy reviewing our journal subscriptions and usage. By January, all our subscriptions begin. A very common and uh, question that we often get here is how much does a journal subscription at Lister Hill cost? Our least expensive title is about $300, and our most expensive title right now is about $17,000, with the average cost of a Lister Hill Library journal subscription being about $3,100. A question I often get is, why is a certain title being purchased? The state is acquiring large packages of journal content that they are licensing for K-12, higher education, and those in small businesses to support the Alabama economy. If you ever question why a title is in the collection, I'd be very happy to let you know who is paying for the re that resource, either through the state of Alabama or a title selected by the libraries to support education, research, and clinical care here at UAB. In content management, we primarily handle electronic subscriptions and electronic journals. Our subscriptions are 99.9% .9 electronic, total electronic, and that's changed dramatically from the 90s when I first got here in 1996. So we have been keeping up with current trends in librarianship because you want it fast and you want it now. Once the journal is purchased, that goes to EBSCO, it's processed in EBSCO and then it comes, we get a response saying that the journal is ready to be added to Serial Solutions. Serial Solutions is our e-resource management tool and it is used to help us keep up with all of the, of the different titles and title changes of a journal. Over the years in the industry, journals have moved or migrated from package to package or from vendor to vendor and went to different platforms. So therefore, they have different start dates or ending dates or what you could say is coverage of a journal that's talking about their holdings. So Serious Solutions help us, helps us to better manage those situations. And it is a wonderful tool to be used for journal searching. We do get some journals via aggregated database, such as EBSCO, Gale, other vendors. Those are databases that get information from the vendors. However, sometimes they have embargoes. Embargo means that the current access is unavailable until that coverage time comes which could be three months from now, or it could be two years from now. These databases help libraries have access to a wealth of information that they might not be able to otherwise have access to directly from the publisher. There are times when journal titles are deleted from Serious Solutions. We would do this if we decide to cancel a title for any particular reason, budget restrictions and things of that sort, or if a title moves from one platform to the next. There are also times where 
a journal might stop publishing for whatever reason. They went bankrupt or they're no longer available to us. That has happened in the past and will probably happen in the future. Any changes we make in serious solutions are done in the system overnight. And by 10 a.m. the next day, you can see the changes that we made in the administrator module.